Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing in Sari.com. So from today onwards, I'm going to talk about behavior driven development. So this is the new series BDD framework. So we'll start the BDD framework, uh, framework from today onwards. So this is the first part of BDD framework. And guys, if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos. So let's get started with the agenda. So we'll talk about the traditional approach versus TDD that is test driven development. We'll talk about what is BDD that is behavior driven development and we'll see the difference between TDD versus BDD. Basically TD comes, uh, TD, TDD, BDD framework comes from TDD. So we'll see the difference between what is uh, TDD and BDD. And we'll talk about uh, how we can relate the BDD framework in, in agile methodology. And later on we'll talk about uh, Cucumber tool and Gherkin language and we'll see a BDD example. And later on we'll talk about some different uh, BDD tools available in the market. So let's get started with the first topic that is uh, traditional approach versus BDD. So how, uh, hap what happens in traditional approach? So a traditional development process would go as follows. So we'll basically we'll see like how it happens, uh, how the process goes in traditional approach, traditional development process. So the first point is business needs. Okay, so uh, stakeholders or product owners talks about uh, uh, the business needs, what their uh, requirement is. So the, they will write the uh, high level document, they will create the high level document that is BRD, business requirement document. We'll talk about what is BRD, SRS, NFRS uh, later as well. And later on the second part is product owners write requirements based on those business needs. Okay, so they will convert that into SRS and FRS document. SRS is software requirement specification and FRS is functional requirement specification. And later on developers and tester comes into the picture. So developers will develop the code and later on tester will execute the code. So basically this is the traditional approach driven by coding uh, that is driven by coding. So firstly the coding, uh, the development uh, team write the code and later on the tester will uh, create the test cases and and then test case will be test case will be executed by the testing team so this is how the traditional approach uh, goes coding testing uh, test case creation and execution so what is brd document uh, we have seen like brd srs and frs so BR, uh, brd is business requirement document that comes in initiation phase so why the requirement are being undertaken? So basically the question comes like uh, why the requirements are being undertaken? So that comes in uh, business requirement document. The second point is SRS software requirement specification. So that comes in planning phase. What requirements must be fulfilled to satisfy business needs? So the business which we have defined. So what are the requirements there in the uh, software? Uh, requirement specification so basically it talks about the software requirement specification the third comes is functional requirement okay so functional required requirement comes in frs document and that uh, comes in pl uh, planning phase only so how exactly the system is expected to function so these are the three di uh, different document uh, documentation so this is how the traditional approach goes guys uh, the first is coding testing uh, test case creation and then execution. Then what is TDD? So th the name uh, says that test driven development. It is driven by the test. So the first point is business needs. The second is create a collaborative space with developers and tester tools uh, so that they can talk about what they are going to develop together. And the third point is during this phase, they collaborate around the requirements and define them as English format scenarios. And developers write code based on these scenarios and tester create automated test cases that report back against these scenarios. So basically in test driven development, what happens is first test cases are created. First the uh, scenarios are defined and then run those test cases. And definitely uh, those test cases will be, uh, will fail, right? Because uh, the development is not yet happened and later on based on the uh, the results they will write the 
code the developer will write the code to pass those test cases so this is how it goes in test driven development first test cases are created run those test cases to see the uh, the failure and then to fail those scenarios and then write the code ac according to those scenarios so what is bdd basically so bdd comes from tdd we'll see uh, th these are the different definition of bdd so behavior driven development is software development approach that has evolved from tdd so t uh, bdd comes from tdd tdd right test driven development Behavior driven development is a branch of test driven development. So this is another definition of uh, BDD. It improves communication between tech and non-tech teams and stakeholders. So basically we will write the scenarios in BDD in uh, plain English format. So that's uh, that's where there is uh, no uh, I mean communication is very strong between tech and non-tech people. So technical uh, non-tech people can also understand the script very well because the script will be written in plain English in both development approaches tests are written ahead of the code so as we have seen in the previous uh, slides okay so test will be written ahead of the code in TDD or in BDD but in BDD tests are more user focused so this is the difference between BDD and TDD in BDD tests are more user focused and based on systems behavior Okay, so BDD is way of uh, way for software teams to work that closes the gap uh, gap between business people and technical people. So it reduces the uh, communication gap between technical and non-technical people, so that uh, uh, non-technical people can uh, easily understand the uh, scripts as well. BDD is more user focused, as we have discussed earlier. So uh, for this BDD user uh, use user stories for every feature to be tested. Uh, we'll see the example. BDD use human readable descriptions of user requirements, writing the scripts using Gherkin language. So we'll talk about what is this Gherkin language. So basically, in BDD, we'll write, uh, we'll use the, uh, 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 we'll, we are going to use the tool called uh, Cucumber, and in Cucumber tool, we are going to use the language Gherkin language. So we'll see how it goes. I will write the script. So, what is the difference between TDD and BDD? So, BDD is in uh, is in a more readable format by every stakeholder since it is in English. Unlike TDD, test cases written in programming language such as Ruby, Java, etc. So, scripts are written uh, in different programming language using TDD, but in BDD scenarios, all scripts will be written in plain English format. BDD explains the behavior of an application for the end user while TDD focuses on how the functionality how functionality is implemented. Changes on functionality can be accommodated with less impact in BDD as opposed to TDD. So this is the difference between TDD and BDD. So do not worry about the notes guys I'll uh, put in my blog that is automation testing .com. Now, how uh, we can relate BDD into Agile methodology? Okay, so Agile, what Agile is? Agile works in small in increments of value like user stories. So there are uh, uh, different uh, uh, increments, right? I mean, uh, we'll divide uh, into sprints in Agile methodology. So BDD does not replace your existing Agile process; it enhances it. Okay, so basically. BDD enhances the agile methodology. So BDD as a set of plugin for user uh, for your existing process that will make your team more able um, more able to deliver on promise promises of agile. So BDD encourages working in rapid iterations continuously breaking down your users problem into small pieces that can flow through your development process as quickly as possible. So basically BDD enhances the agile methodology. So we'll talk about uh, agile methodology in detail in probably in separate videos. I'll create a separate video on agile methodology as well later on. So what is Cucumber? So we are going to use, we are going to implement the BDD framework using Cucumber tool. So it is a testing tool that supports behavior driven development framework. 
and it defines application behavior using simple english text defined by uh, defined by a language called gherkin language okay so we are going to use the language inside uh, this cucumber tool in this cucumber tool that is that language is called gherkin language so it uh, here you can see the definition of gherkin language what is gherkin language so it is a business readable domain specific language created especially for behavior descriptions so basically in uh, gherkin language we have uh, certain keywords like given when and and then so these are some of the keywords we are going to use in uh, a cucumber using gherkin language formula bdd example so this is the proposed template for writing bdd test cases for a user story which can be defined as follows so this is the simple script guys a uh, simple feature file i would say so at first we have this feature keyword so we'll define the feature over here description of the feature like what we are going to uh, what is our user story let's say we are going to uh, uh, test the login functionality so we'll write the description of the feature over here and these are the scenarios so in scenario part we'll cover those uh, keywords uh, using those keywords we'll write the scenarios given uh, so in given keyword what we are going to write is given a certain scenario which is prerequisite prerequisite or precondition of the uh, the scenario okay so in given keyword we are going to write the prerequisite or precondition i'll give an example in the next slide uh, in when keyword what we are going to use when an action take, uh, takes place so basically this talks about uh, the action which we are going to perform the third would be and some more action so we have keyword called and and we'll perform some more action over here and then is the uh, expected outcome this should be the outcome expected result so these are the different keywords which we are going to use in bdd uh, framework and uh, this uh, this is the practical example would be feature check the login functionality so this is my uh, user story or uh, scenario or feature i would say check login functionality and these are the scenarios the first thing is okay so given the login screen is open so the, this is the precondition right uh, prerequisite and this is the second keyword when user enters username and password so this is my action and again i am going to perform another action in end part so end clicks on login button and last would be then user should navigate it to home page after successfully login user should be navigated to home page so this is how it goes in uh, gherkin language this is how we write the scenarios uh, feature in feature file so what are the different tools available in the market uh, uh, to implement the bdd framework so cucumber is the top most or important uh, i would say Cucumber is test framework that supports BDD. In Cucumber, the BDD specification are written in plain, simple English, which is defined by the Gherkin language, so which we talked about earlier. In other words, Gherkin is a language that Cucumber understands. There is another tool called SpecFlow, and we have JBehave, TestLeft, JDev. So these are the different keywords, uh, different uh, BDD, uh, BDD tools available in the market. So we are going to use Cucumber. Uh, we are going to implement this bdd using cucumber so in the next video guys uh, next part we'll we'll talk about uh, uh, the framework setup how we'll set up the bdd framework in selenium so using eclipse we'll set up this bdd framework and we'll integrate with selenium uh, scripts okay so thank you guys for watching and uh, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.